When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. All right, what's up guys? Today, um, my modded knuckles are coming here. They'll be here pretty much any minute. So I'm gonna start by taking my stock knuckles off and uh, get it ready so right when they get here, I can just throw them in. Super simple to take them off. And uh, I might as well show you guys my stock angle real quick and then compare it to the angle when the knuckles are on. So this is just completely stock angle right here, stock knuckles. And then I'll show you guys with the modded knuckles. So let's show you guys that stock angle. All right, so this is the angle, um, stock knuckles. I actually have uh, rack spacers, but that's it. That doesn't really do much though. So this is what you look like with pretty much stock angle. Let me just get a good shot of the front. So that is stock. And then I will show you guys when the modded knuckles get here and how it looks. But first I'm gonna start by jacking it up and taking these knuckles off. All right, so next what we're gonna do, take off this caliper, take off the rotor, take off the heat shield, and then our uh, ball joints will be pretty accessible and we'll be able to pull the knuckle right off. So let's get to pulling the, all this brake stuff. All right guys, so my knuckles just came. Um, this is my first time unboxing I literally just cut the tape. So, what, is that a Hot Wheels? Sweet, look at, look at this. We got a Hot Wheels, what's this? Little note taped to the Hot Wheels, talking about this is for off-road use only. That's pretty funny though. So, just pop this off. Look at this, we got, the shortened knuckle, this thing's powder coated and everything. So, basically, this will go right here, replace that. You can see how much shorter it is right there. It's like almost a whole inch shorter. So, yeah, I can't wait to have these on and see what the angle's looking like. All right, guys, so I'm back. It's the next day. I actually stopped because right here, these are new lower ball joints. I got them for both sides because uh, I didn't show this, but when I was taking the uh, old knuckles out, um, I couldn't separate them anyways, but both of the lower ball joints exploded. So uh, yeah, we're definitely not gonna be using those. So we got fresh ones and we're gonna use fresh ones with the new knuckles and all the other bushings look fine. It was just those little uh, lower ones that like exploded. So I'm gonna throw those in and get this thing ready to go. All right, so I got both sides on. I'm just tightening everything up real quick, but uh, I'm not gonna film any of this because it's just reversing the steps. It's pretty simple. So it's almost done. Once I bolt all this up, just gonna do the uh, shield, hub, brakes, and then uh, we'll go test it out. Definitely gonna have to do a little self-alignment in the front though, because obviously everything's all different now. So just adjusting here a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna finish this up and then get back to you guys. All right guys, so I just completely finished up. Well, I need to adjust the uh, tie rods, but um, both sides are completely done. And let me just say, this is absolutely crazy. That is insane. That is definitely a lot more than it was. You can see everything in there like so easy. You could fit anything like, it just looks absolutely insane. That is a lot of angle. Look at the gap in between here. So I am stoked. I'm gonna adjust that real quick and then go outside. Probably take this thing out and test it and then I'm gonna have to wash it after cause the roads suck right now, but I'm gonna adjust this and then bring it out. All right, so I just strain it out as much as I can. 
got it running ready to go and uh i'm gonna go show you it in the driveway and stuff and then test it out all right guys well the miata is done this is how the angle looks outside pretty crazy looking so i'm stoked on it i'm just gonna go take it for a little drive i mean i'm probably not gonna be able to drift much because it's just me and uh i don't know i don't really want to drift this thing right now anyways but the angle does look crazy So that's a quick little review on uh, the shore and knuckles for a Miata. As you can tell, it looks sick. It drifts sick. I didn't really get to feel the full angle, but obviously I would need a big spot like this, and this is just a public spot. That dude's flying an airplane. I don't know if you can see it. That's pretty sick. But, um, yep, here's the Miata. Finally got the angle mod on, and uh, I can't wait to hit a Block City, Lebanon, even Raceway Park. I don't know. I'm dying to get to events this year. Really uh, looking forward to March. So that's probably me after this video. I'll see you guys in the next one and thank you guys for watching.